Welcome to this video. One of your friends in Canada asked me to, to uh, help with this question. But before I do so, uh, I want to say this is not my own question. It's from um, it's a past paper question. So I want to say thanks and give credit to Cambridge uh, Examinations for providing us with these questions. We are just here simply to solve them and to help each other, huh, to understand maths better. Okay, so what is going on? At the top, actually, you can't see it, but it says... Uh, there's a grid with positive consecutive integers yeah? and then it continues here by the grid has five columns yeah? so positive integers so whole numbers they're all positive and consecutive means uh, they follow each other up in the number line yeah? so one two three four five six seven eight nine and as you can see all positive integers and also consecutive and it has five columns it says one two three four five columns fantastic Let's read on. The shape drawn encloses five numbers. 7, 9, 13, 17, and 19. 7, 9, 13, 17, and 19, indeed. And they call that N equals 13 shape. Yeah? So they have this, this grid, yeah, this, this five, if you like. Yeah? And if they put it on top of that diagram of numbers, then if N is in the middle, or N is in the middle, and puts it on 13, they call that the N equals 13 shape. Okay, if we would move that grid and let's say put the middle here on let's say 22, yeah, then they will call that the n equals 22 shape. All right, so I'm analyzing this uh, this question yeah, because clearly this is an, uh, an investigation question, yeah? so we have to analyze the situation and then we will answer some questions about it. Let's read on. In this shape, a equals seven, so a is seven, yeah. B equals nine. B equals 9, correct, eh? N equals 13, then 17 is C, let's have a look, C equals 17 indeed, and D equals 19. Okay, so I, uh, that all makes sense, eh? so they put this grid on top of my numbers, and then we have A, B, C, D, and that is the N equals 13 shape in this case. Now let's have a look at the question, they say calculate B, C minus A, D for the n equals 13 shape. So we're looking at this situation, n equals 13, so the 13 in the middle, bc minus ad. Well, let's have a go, because bc, what does that mean? bc means b times c. So nine, eh, b times c, and c is 17. Let's put some brackets around that. Minus, and then they say, um, what do they say? Where are we? There we are. A, D. Yeah, so A times D, 7 times 19. Okay, so I'm going to write here, minus 7 times 19. Okay, you can put it in your calculator. Yeah, if you like, 9 times uh, 17, 153. Take away 7 times 90, 19, I should say. Uh, what is that? 133, if I do that correctly. And that equals then to 20. Yeah, that must be right. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, 20 there because that's my answer. All right, let's uh, continue reading. For the five column grid, yeah, so that's this grid, um, or that one as well, A equals, they say, N minus 6. Okay, so A equals, so the, the number here, the integer here, equals N take away 6. Let me see if that's true. Yeah, for this case, so 13, eh, N take away 6 is indeed 7. Okay, and let's say if I would move it one step to the right, so it will be shape N equals 14, then 14 minus 6 would indeed be 8. Yeah, so that makes sense. For the five column grid, A equals N minus 6. Write down B, C, and D in terms of N. Okay, that can't be too difficult, eh? because B, so let's look at this situation, 13, eh? N minus, minus how much? So that's going to be B equals N minus 4. Okay, because 13 minus 4 is going to be 9. What about C? Well, it's going to be N plus 4 indeed, okay, so it's going to be n plus 4, and the last one, d, is going to be n plus 6, yeah, because that's d, so 13 plus 6, so n plus 6, and let me just check that to be sure, for let's say, if I put it somewhere else, let's put for, for n uh, is uh, 22, yeah, then indeed d is 28, yeah, 22 plus 6, uh, C is 26, which is N plus 4, indeed. And B is 18, which is N minus 4. Yeah, so that all makes sense. That's all correct. Two points in the pocket. Now, 
The question this student asked was specifically about I, I, I. Um, so let's have a look there. Write down BC minus AD. Yeah, so that's again that BC minus AD from there. But now in terms of N. So here we did it for term uh, for uh, the shape N equals 13. But now we do it more, let's say, in terms of N, more uh, in general. But they continue, show clearly that it simplifies to 20. And indeed, I got a 20 as an answer here as well. And they say if you do that in general terms, in terms of N, I should also be able to simplify it to 20. Now, let's have a go. Um, so I'll just put I, I, I here. Okay. Uh, what is B in general terms? Eh? Because we're going to do... B times C minus A times D. And I should get 20 there. So B is the N minus 4. And C is the N plus 4. So let us write that down. Uh, N minus 4 times N plus 4. Minus, yeah, minus AD. And A was N minus 6. And D is N plus 6. So let me write that down as well. Uh, so A n minus 6, and then n plus 6. And if I expand and simplify that, I should get 20. Now let's have a look, see if that is indeed true. So we are doing the FOIL method, eh? n times n, and n times 4, minus 4 times n. Eh? Hopefully you are quite familiar with that by now. So n times n, n squared plus 4n minus 4n minus 16. Yeah, that is that first part that's over here now because I don't have a lot of space I'll continue here the minus sign and I'm going to put some big brackets there because I'm going to foil this one expand that but all of that has that minus sign in front of it yeah so careful for that so I'm going to expand that uh, which is going to be n squared plus 6 n minus 6 n minus 36 all right now um, let's have a go I have n squared minus n squared. So that cancels each other out. So that is zero. Let's just put a cross for that. n squared minus n squared. Then I have 4n minus 4n. So that is gone. I have 6n minus 6n. So that is zero. So actually all that is left is minus 16. Yeah, which is still over there. Minus minus 36 and yeah? now you see those brackets are so important it's minus minus 36 so that is a positive 36 and minus 16 plus 36 or if you like 36 minus 16 is 20 and they actually told me that it was going to be 20 qed quod erum demonstrantum which is latin for and um, that is my proof if you like yeah? so i've shown you Actually, now that it simplifies to 20 QED, well, you can ignore that, but uh, it's perhaps nice if you put it there. Anyway, so that was uh, my proof uh, that it simplifies to 20. So I hope that was useful. Um, again, this is not my question. Credit goes to Cambridge International Examinations. You can go to my site, explainingmaths.com, and ask me your personal question or find some more free resources. And you can also find me on Facebook, okay? Share and like these videos if it was useful so more of your friends uh, are being helped by them, all right? I wish you a very pleasant day. See you later.